y'all, I'm Maggie McGaw here. Today I'm going to be transforming this piece of furniture I found on the side of the road from trash into a beautiful statement piece for any nursery. Let's get started. Now it's time to prep the piece. The first thing I'm going to do is give it a deep clean. I'm going to spray it down. These are actually recycled burp cloths from my baby. And then I am going to use my screwdriver super quickly and just remove these knobs so I can replace them with something different. It's like a super easy process and honestly, it's not that complicated. If you can clean something in your house, you can do this first step of flipping furniture. This is why it is so important to clean your piece before starting your project. So now that I've cleaned it up, I am just gonna use wood filler, fill in these holes. I'm actually gonna keep these for the new hardware, but down here, I wanna add handles that are not gonna be using the holes that are already there. So I'm gonna use wood filler. You can use gloves if you want. I'm more of a simple kind of person, so I just use my fingers, and I'm going to smear it in there. And you can use a tool to smooth it out if you want, but again, I try to keep it as simple as possible. And I'm gonna do this for all of the holes that I am replacing. Super easy process, then I'm going to let it dry. Now that I have used my wood filler and let it dry, I'm just gonna take the sandpaper, lightly sand to remove the excess. Sometimes this takes a lot longer, but fortunately this is going pretty quickly. And matter of opinion, I always do two coats of wood filler just to make sure that I get all of the little indentions. Now that everything is dried, ready to go, I am going to sand. You can also remove the drawers, which I am gonna do when it gets down to the details of the drawers, but I'm gonna start with the top. So I'm gonna put on my apocalypse mask Let's see how graceful this is. Not graceful at all. And now I'm just gonna turn it on. That's all you have to do for this tool, super easy. I put on my sandpaper. I'm using a 120 grit here. This is, this is about how my days go on a typical day. Okay, let's try that again. It's time to sand. It's time to sand. I'm going to put on my mask. I've got my sandpaper attached to my sander. I'm just going to turn it on, lightly sand. I'm planning on painting, so I do not have to remove all of this red paint. I just want to scuff it enough and scuff it up enough for the paint to stick. Okay, you got this on the side of the road. You for sure have bed bugs now. And I know you're scared because I get this message all the time, but I always do a deep inspection of my pieces just to make sure there are no signs of bed bugs. I also treat because you never know. So I have this bed bug killer. I leave it on overnight. I spray it in just to make sure there are no bed bugs. I've actually never had a run in with them before, but I want to keep it that way. So I just treat just in case. all over, top to bottom, under the drawers, everywhere I possibly can spray it, leave it on overnight just to be sure, and then I'll come back tomorrow. All right, I'm back. Today I'm going to be cleaning. Now, I know you are probably thinking that I am cleaning this one piece of furniture more than I clean my own house. You're right, I am. But it is a critical step because now there is red paint everywhere. Look at that. <laughs> red paint everywhere, wood, sawdust, everything. So I'm cleaning this up and then I'm going to prime and paint and seal. But this is very important because if I were to paint this white, for instance, I would have red dust all in it and it would affect the color, it would affect how well the paint sticks. 
So it's always a good idea to be safe rather than sorry. Next up, I'm going to prime my piece to make sure that paint really sticks. Even though sanding is what you should always do to ensure your paint is gonna stick, primer can never hurt, especially when it's fake wood like this piece is. You can see there are some little hairs that got in this, some fuzzes. So I'm just gonna take my 220 grit sandpaper and lightly sand the entire piece again. This time, this is just to remove any hairs, fuzz, bumps, anything like that that got in the paint. I am just painting with my paintbrush short strokes i'm not using a ton of paint and this will probably take two to three coats next up i am going to be putting these new handles on my dresser marking the spots and drilling holes for my new hardware I want to add a little pop, so I'm going to be using this wallpaper and lining just this little area just to add some depth to my piece. It's peel and stick, it's removable, so if the owners decide they don't want it, no big deal. 